everyone, it's Bianca from the Stampin' Bee, and I'm back! It's been a while since I posted a video. I have just did a huge move. We moved from California to Arizona, and it's been a lot of work, but I finally have my nice big craft room and ready to jump back in and show off some cool cards. So today I have a really cute card for you. Um, this is using the, what's the name of this paper? Garden Impressions DSP. So cute. Oh my gosh. So adorable. I love it. You can, this card right here, you can do in every single style of paper with no doubt. So I will show you how to make it. Again, everything is on my site at thestampinbee.com. And you can find all the measurements, product information, everything there, where to order, all of that stuff as well. So let me show you how to do this one today. We are using regular card base. And this is our DSP. I did use little strips instead of one big piece for the background. So let me attach those. So you can make these as small or as big as you'd like. And make them just a tad smaller. There we go. And then let me attach my ribbon across it. And then I can attach it to my card. There we go. Now I'm going to be using the Accented Blooms stamp set. I love this one. I loved that it had the, um, the cutouts for the tailored punch because I loved this punch from the Occasions catalog. It was so cute. It had the... Um, more manly cards to it. I don't know. I really, really, really liked it. So we're going to be using the Hello today. I'm going to be using Powder Pink. Make sure it gets nice and inked up. There we go. line this one up here perfect all right let's get some dimensionals on the back of this one probably more than I need but I don't want it to fall whoops let's center this one better come on Right up there. Oh, forgot to put my little knot. So just another piece of ribbon. There we go. So let me cut off the ends. And then what I like to do is get a glue dot and put it right underneath the knot. That way it holds it in place. Perfect. And then lastly, we'll use the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. And we're just going to put those right on the end. Very, very simple and fun card to do. Like I said, you could do this with any of the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. So I hope you enjoyed it. Everything is on my site, thestampinbee.com, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!